Hey, how's it going, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. And on this one, I'm gonna start with the Eye of a Blood Drunk Hunter beckons hunters to the Hunter's Nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside of Uden Chapel. So if you get Eye of the Blood Drunk Hunter, which is gonna be on the floor here, after I've done what I've done, um, yeah, you can now get into the DLC. So the DLC is not an area that you can just open up, open and, and, and go like that. Um, you need to kind of do a set of things to unlock it, I suppose. And hopefully, which as as it now seems, I have done enough things to unlock it. So we can, you know, go there and, and, and do stuff. Um, I'm still on Hunter's Dream and I didn't even want to resume from here. Well. But I had to because I accidentally pressed that and you can only get it once. So, um, yeah, well, that's Hunter. pretty much just how it goes. Um, before I carry on, let me just go to the workshop, 45 weapons, which I don't, actually, okay, I, I don't even have one, uh, we'll repair this one, uh, any blood gems that I have to do this one with, new ones, no, same old, same old, that was in repair, got nothing to do, uh, yeah, I got this one, more blood echoes from visceral attacks, which, not gonna happen all that much but it's better than this one because I'm not gonna transform into a beast so I might as well just have that one instead um, got insight because obviously from defeating just from seeing bosses you get insight but you get even more from defeating them and let's see what kind of stuff I've unlocked here because I've got uh, yeah hunter's chief emblem that's what you could unlock that gate so no weapons Nothing new there, Team Prospector, same old, same old on everything. But we did get this. The gold pendant, Vickery Mill is pendant. Uh, this pendant passed down among vicars who had the healing church is a remainder of the cautionary adagi to reveal the adagi touched the altar skull, which is what we've got. Um, however, it is I used to change into a blood gem which fortifies weapons, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. So, and you get the gold blood gem, which, if I remember correctly, I think to you know when you get it this early in the game, or well, at this point in the game, it's not really early. Um, it is actually decent. So I'm gonna have a quick look, and it's here, and it just puts a attacks versus beasts plus twelve percent. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use it just yet. Not too interested in it, to be fair. Uh, okay, never mind. Um, so, the next place I want to go... Uh, before I do that, actually... Oops, oh, don't want to use it. Yeah, so, whatever. Uh, so, before I do that, I want to go to the Cathedral Ward again. All right, here we are, and from here, I'm gonna go back up to where I kind of was in a way. So I'm gonna go. Two things I want to do immediately. Oh yeah, that guy is no longer here because I've changed things. So some parts in the game must have changed. So some characters aren't gonna be where you think they are and stuff like that. Um, and I think I gotta go this way because I need to go to that big area with the giants. I will let those guys pass quietly. I do not want to do them at all. I don't want to just come here and do everything with these giants just yet. But what I will do... I need to go there behind that guy. And is that... Yeah, it is. So, let's just go behind this guy. And here... I'm gonna is the other side where I told you guys this one that would steal your uh, your insight and there's a crow and that guy and below is where we have been and yeah you could jump down here and deal with that ambush but we've already dealt with it so I'm just gonna oops, get those twin bloodstone shards and everything else so yeah so that's one way to get there which I could have gone before and it probably would have been a lot better but this is the other way I want to go because I'm gonna go to the woods 
and it's gonna be the Dark Woods, I believe it's called, and um, that's gonna be the next place I'm gonna go. Now, we've already seen this guy, we've already spoken with him once. Oh, good to see you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. You can ask him all about, you know, all, all this stuff, so I'm just gonna talk, yeah, I'm gonna go through all of them, so you guys can see the dialogue. As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. Well, I'm a simple hunter, quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution. But I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral. And that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning. And the Tomb of the Gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood abandoned and decrepit and furthermore the healing church has declared bergenworth forbidden ground it's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate ah there's something i want to tell you a bit of wisdom from the eminent master lugarius once a scholar betrayed his fellows at bergenworth and brought forbidden blood back with him to Canehurst Castle. It was there that the first of the inhuman vile bloods was born. The vile bloods are fiendish creatures who threaten the purity of the church's blood healing. The ruler of the vile bloods is still alive today. And so, to honor my master's wishes, I search for the path to Canehurst Castle. I bid you farewell. May the good blood. And yeah, that's there pretty much. Be... Go on. Yeah, I that's pretty much all he's gonna say for now. It has been a pleasure. May the... And stamping blood gemstone here. So yeah, that's the second time we see that guy, and he's gonna be in his second spot. And yeah, there is a quest to him as well, which we will eventually get to, but not just yet. Now, if you were to come here at any other point in time, this is what you'd get. Uh, basically, you got to tell a password. <laughs> the password. And we already know the password. Which, if you tell him, he opens it. But obviously, you're not going to know before you defeat Vicar Emilius. So you cannot get here before already dead so who's asked us for the password there's nobody else here and there's nobody else that could have escaped in time because it was two seconds after you said the password that we went down here so it's just one of the mysteries i suppose but after you know the password you can go down here and yeah you can go to the next point in the game which is the forbidden woods not the dark woods and this is a whole nother area that, it, this is where you're going to get lost quite a bit. Or you can get lost quite a bit, because it's this is massive and it's just very swampy and there's this trees everywhere. And it's just going to be tricky to say the least. Um, it's, it's also a tad difficult area, or at least it was when I remembered it being here. Um, as you can see, there's already two, the way is already split in, in, into places. But it's going to be rewarding because there's going to be loads of runes and items here that I very much want. So if you bear with it, you know, keep at it. Follow where I'm going and we can get loads of stuff here. As you can see, I'm already starting getting good items and, and I've, I've just now started. I'm going to put those transform it. Now that guy throwing that stuff, uh, which he hasn't hit us yet. That stuff by itself is... Um, I'll show you what it is in a moment. Ouch, bastard. Okay. 
I almost recovered everything, so I'm good. That is this, which I can't remember the flipping name of right now. The oil urn. That's what he's throwing at you. So, all he does is throw oil urns at you. And if he does hit you, you'll, you'll have a little icon underneath uh, where it says, you know, next to the pebble and whatnot. And basically, he's throwing oil urns at you. So, all the other guys with the fire attacks will do a lot more damage to you because most of the guys here have torches. They either have torches or they, you know, they throw firebombs or whatever, molotovs. Yeah, so th that's what that's what he's doing. He's prepping you up so the other guys do extra damage to you. Oh, no you're not. Oh, crap. He's def Even though he's defended that, I still did 67. And that was a proper attack. He took half my health, but I also took something from him. And died. That's all I gotta say to you. So even if you were to accidentally jump on, on fire or whatever, you, you'd, yeah, you would get punished for it. Did transform it. Madman's knowledge. And a adept blood gemstone. Which, yeah, you're gonna get loads of gemstones here, which is awesome. Or I think it's awesome, at least, because it's, um, yeah, definitely going to need all of them. Now, there's loads and loads and loads and loads of items and stuff to get here. I'm most likely going to miss some of them. I'm not going to say most of them. I'm, I'm going to get most, but I am going to miss a few. So please bear with me. And um, if you notice some that I missed, point them out in the comments, and I can always come back here and re-pick them up. I'm gonna try and get the most important ones, or the ones I want the most. But all the other ones, uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave. So, here is a lamp that you're gonna get. And this is going to be a shortcut, however, it's locked for now. And there's going to be a guy, a guy there on the other side, if he's not there already. That's going to give us a room that we can use on our fourth slot. And as far as I know, up until this point in time in the game at least, it's going to be our first rune. I'm just going to keep myself topped off. It's going to be our first rune of that sort. Or at least it was for me before and it most likely will be for me here again. Um, but then again, I hadn't done Eileen's quest up until this point in time either, so you never know. He's got a gun. I'm going to take care of him first because he'll keep shooting at me and he's more annoying than that guy. And I nearly stepped in, into some shit. And luckily I didn't because... Oh, what the heck? Asshole. Okay. Um, yeah, so I nearly stepped into some shit just, just there. I'm gonna get those bullets. Uh, I'm not sure if I should go here just yet. Oh yeah, shoot. It's only an item. Between bloodstone shards. Um, so, yeah. In here, um, you, you, for most people, they will just walk past this. That's a trap. And as you can see over there, that's what it comes down to you. I'm going to activate this trap anyways. But that's, this is what would happen to you. And yeah. It's just one of them things that, surprise, you're going to die. And from this side, you can see there's obviously something there. And that just fell down there somewhere, I think. I don't know. Doesn't matter. So from this side, it's just oh, it's just some, yeah, just some planks in the floor. Who cares? But from this side, you can see it's a freaking trap. And there's a couple of those that I can think of. It's probably more, but I don't know. I can only think of this one, and then there's another one not too far from here. And it's just one of them things. Like if you don't know about it, surprise, you are going to die there, no matter how much health you've got. Oh, asshole! Oh, damn it! It still burned me. What the? Okay, he's dead. Blood vial. So, um, yeah, it's one of them things, surprise, you're gonna die. And, yeah, it's just... It, it's really, really shitty. But, um, I, that, that's why I want to make a point of pointing that out to everyone. Because I really don't want you guys to die there. Because that's just a really bad, stupid death. And, yeah, it's just not fair for anyone, to be fair. But, whatever. Um, uh, as you can see, there's loads of guys down there. There's loads of items, don't get me wrong. 
There's also and the guy with the gun. And a freaking dog. <laughs> he just killed himself. <laughs> he hurt himself. What a stupid dog. Oh dear. Cracking myself up. Um I'm gonna go this way. And no, I'm not gonna avoid these guys or anything like that. I'm not gonna jump down here. Or oh, never mind, I am. I am gonna jump down there. I didn't want to, but whatever. I have no choice. Can break his guard and then just kill. These are so easy to kill. How are I'm right in front of him. Da. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use this one. As you can see, it's not as good as the other one because it it's not leveled up enough. So, it doesn't do as much damage or it's not as impressive yet as the spear, the rifle spear is. But again, I haven't um Yeah, I haven't I haven't it's not up to spec just yet. It will be soon. This is not a strength character, so if it was, that would probably do a lot better than it is doing now. But yeah, it's still going to do very, very well, even though I'm doing skill more than anything. Um, so yeah, if, if we were to go down there normally, you'd be in a bit of a pickle, because they would all jump at you all at once, and it would, yeah, it would be a bit of a trouble. Oh yeah, he's dead already. Um, but obviously, if you go the way I have... Then it's kind of like surprise, motherfuckers. Hello. You're not going to escape me. Even though I'm running towards this freaking... Gotcha. Oh, crap. Yeah, they can't they can kill you. Especially when there's loads of them like this. They can be quite dangerous. Also do that. Asshole. Luckily for you, my stamina is crap, so I'm not doing very well. But you know, still doing pretty good. So I don't even have the hand lantern equipped. What the heck, man? I've only noticed now. Jeez. It's looking at the time of my video. I'm, these videos are going to be a bit longer. So rather than my 20 minutes. I came from there, I've I've gone there, there actually, and yeah, I've, I've already been there as well, and this is the way you gotta go, normally, and that guy is gonna be easy enough to kill, I think, he's, he's always gonna attack me, that's just a fact of, of life, there's no way, oh, I'm not transformed, that's why, now of course I've transformed with shooting which is not the right way to transform because I've done it by accident so gosh darn it whatever I can put my torch and everything because I'm not really using my gun and anyway, you guys will be able to see better because yeah again I'm not uh, transformed um, yeah and this place is quite dark so yeah that is the way to go as far as I can remember Nothing but lights here. And yeah, this way is quite treacherous. You think, oh, yeah, I'm going to be able to go here just fine. That's a trap. If I were to step on that, I would fall down. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to fall for that trap. And I'm going to go around, which is the way I want to go. So you'll go through this flower field stingy. Don't, uh, don't fall for that trap. Go down here, be cautious. Thick cold blood, which is awesome. I've got plenty of those, which I very rarely use. And we know about those planks, don't we, boys? You can see up there, it's another freaking trap. So if you step on it, that's what you get. You, you get mauled by that again. So, 
we know about that there is going to be there where I'm going to have to go but there's also this way up here on the side and there's going to be something good there so I'm gonna go this way first even though I shouldn't this way should be after I've been to that town actually I think even though that town is going to be a bit dangerous because there's going to be a massive giant ass cannon guy shooting at me uh, yeah there's going to be dogs here I think for now they're all going to be caged I think there might be one or two out but for the most part they're going to be caged so as you can see one of the cages is open so maybe hidden path waits ahead yes I know about that I will go there in just a moment um, before I go let's talk to this guy oh. You know not the value you possess, but more for pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beasts more than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. <laughs> A most frightful fate. Oh my... I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and see an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. Tonsil stone. This is what you need from him to be able to. You need a tonsil stone to be able to go to uh, the library, which is another place we'll go, and I'll show you guys how to get there. He's kind of already told us where. So if you step to the right of the Grand Cathedral, um, that's how you get there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I will go there. I'll do something else before I go there. I'll do a lot of things before I go there. If you sprint here, ah, sometimes I can get to him before he closes that. It's just a bit shitty when he does it. Blue elixir. I'm not sure if I had those before. I think I have. But basically this makes you invisible. Um, sometimes if you sprint you can get through there. Not sometimes, most of the times. But if not, you just gotta go around here. And it's like... Oh. Whatever. Yeah, you can just go around here and then open that up from there. Which is a bit of a pain to be fair, because it's like, you shouldn't have to do that. Is it too far? Yeah, it's too far away. Oh, I forget, they attack twice. And holy crap, he's gonna kill me. Look how much freaking health one of these guys took from me. Both of them together, that could have been lethal. That's where these dogs sometimes can get quite dangerous. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna kill you, you prick, for closing the freaking gate on me. And I'm gonna open this up. And it didn't, it didn't even drop anything. Jeez. I could hear something here. Oh, there's loads of things here. And I always look around you. This is not like Dark Souls 2 where it's like, Ooh, item! And then you, there's a guy right next to you to kill you. Gotta be careful with those guys. But yeah, I just got something. I want to show you guys what it is. But before I do, I want to kill that guy. And I want to kill him the proper way. The way I want you guys to kill him. As you can see, his range is stupid. And the way I kill him is do this first. Piss him off. He's going to transform, but it takes so long to transform that you can very easily then do that. And I still failed, which is... I wanted to um, not parry him, but... I'll just kill him this way now. You, you can do a, a visceral attack on him, but I always seem to fuck it up for some reason. And I still haven't been able to do one on camera for you guys to see how I like to kill those guys. But whatever. I'll do it eventually, I, I promise. But, um, you know, we're kind of like, it's been over 20 minutes now. So, because there was only like one loading screen, I'm going to cut off. It's like 30 seconds. 
I am going to end this video here and then on the next one I'll carry on through this area first but then I'll go back to that main area and do it properly from that main area rather than this one. I just want to kill these guys because, yeah, whatever. And I'm covered in blood. So I'll see you guys on the next one.